welcome back to the channel so today in this video lecture we're going to be solving this problem parallel courses 3 so in this problem you're given an uh, integer n which indicates that there are n courses labeled from 1 to n so you're also given a 2d integer array relations which represents a set of pairs that means like the pair represents previous course and the next course that means previous course must be completed before the next course that's what each element in this relations array represents a prerequisite relationship relationship basically furthermore you are also given a zero indexed array integer array time where each element in this time array denotes how many months it takes to complete the i plus one th course what do we have to do is to find the minimum number of months needed to complete all the courses such that we may take start taking a course at any time if the prerequisites are met any number of courses can be taken at the same time we have to return the minimum number of months needed to complete all the courses now the test cases are such that it is possible to complete every course that means the graph is a directed a cyclic graph so it's a dag basically so we know that uh, if you have followed my topological sorting series that to whenever we have some kind of relationship in a problem statement where we have to like we have some kind of prerequisites there is some kind of ordering so here like in this example we have certain courses which has to be completed before certain courses so there is a certain ordering of these courses that means like here in this example let's take this example so here for course number five the prerequisite is course number four course number one and course number two also course number three is a prerequisite for course number five and for course number four three is the prerequisite that means in order to accomplish course number 5 which takes 5 months we have to complete course number 1 2 and 3 ok so there is a certain kind of ordering so whenever we have some kind of ordering ordering of the vertices so this is basically a graph now if I just write the order in which the course can be completed the order would be 1 one of the valid order would be 1 2 3 4 5 this is one of the orderings because take any courses take 4 and 3 we can see that 3 must be completed before 4 that's why 3 comes before 4 and so goes for 5 all of these courses must be completed before I complete course number 5 that's why they are ordered before the course number 5 fine so let's just see how we can solve this problem so whenever there, there is certain some kind of ordering of vertices ordering of vertices then you must remember that we use topological sorting topo sort for such kind of problems how what is topological sorting it's basically a linear ordering of the vertices of a graph such that for any vertex a and b if a comes before b then that means there is a edge from a to b there is a directed edge from a to b then in the ordering in the topological ordering a must come before b okay so let's see how we can solve this problem so you can see that here in this example the answer would be basically what would be the minimum time to complete all of these courses like here in this case these are the prerequisite courses take max of these months that would be three months so if I complete if I want to complete all of the courses one two and three 
then that would take me at most three months because I can take all of these courses simultaneously as it is given in the problem statement. So I want to complete these four courses before I complete course number five and that will take me four more months because before I complete course number four I have to complete course number three and that takes three months and in these three months I can also start course number one and course number two. Why? Because there is no dependency for course number one and course number two. Like course number one, two and three can be started simultaneously because we can see that their end degree is zero. The end degree for course numbers one, two and three is zero as there is no prerequisite course for these three courses. Fine. So these three courses, course number one, two and three can be started simultaneously. So that means in three months, take max of these times. So in three months, I would complete course number one, two and three. Then I will move to this one. I can complete course number four because I have completed course number three. That would take me four months and I have to like spend my four months to complete course number four because before I spend before I complete course number four I won't be able to complete course number five I have to complete course number four before I start course number five so after four months I will move to course number five now I am able to start course number five and that would take yet another five months giving me an overall time of three plus four plus five that is twelve so it would take me 12 months to complete all of these courses okay so you got the idea how we're going to solve this problem we we're simply following the topological ordering so we know what do we do in topological ordering we take a queue so let's represent a queue so let's see how we can just solve this problem we are like given a graph we are given a ordering of these vertices so here we can see that We'll take a queue. So let's take a queue. So in this queue, I will start with the vertices. So let's let's push those vertices which has in degree as zero. So we can see that vertex number one. 2 and 3 has in degree 0 so push these vertices into the queue okay and here we have our distance array so let's call it distance or let's call it okay distance let's call it distance so for 1 for 2, for 3, and 4, and 5. Okay, now we have the for, for, course num for course number 1, 2, and 3, the distance or the timing would be same as it is given. It would be 1, 1 month for course number 1, 2 months for course number 2, and 3 months for course number 3. Okay, now run the BFS pop this node from the queue and for this node which is node number one iterate over its neighbor node that would be node number five okay move to node number five and then what you can do is just take the max of these two why because what will be the time to reach node number five but how how much time I have to take to reach node number five like what would be the time that I have to spend in order in order to complete the course number five that would be like one plus say five one plus five that is six months okay so let's store 
six here. Let's store six here for node number five for the neighbor node. Now pull this node number two from the queue and iterate its neighbor. That would again be node number five. And it would take me two plus five. It would take me two plus five. That is seven months. So update this five with seven now. Because I have to take the maximum time which I have which I I need to spend to complete all of the courses. Now here I know that like in seven months I would be able to complete these three courses. Okay? I would take seven months, like two months for completing this and then five months to complete this. Fine. Now pull this node node number three from the queue and now iterate over its neighbors. That would be node number five and here it would take me three plus five it would take me three plus five that is eight months eight is greater than seven so update it it would have eight months that means to complete course number one two three and five i need to spend eight months like three months to complete these three courses and then five months to complete course number five now we can see that we will also iterate over node number four and for node number four i will store three plus four that is seven months why because i require three months to co complete course number three which is a prerequisite for course number four and i require four months to complete course number four so that would give me three plus four that is seven months to complete these two courses and the end degree here for node number four will become zero like i'm also replacing these edges here i have replaced these edges i removed these edges basically not re replacing i'm removing these edges I've, this edge is also being removed that's that's how that's the strategy for bfs now we can see that the end degree for node number four becomes zero so i push this node into the queue now pull this node from the queue and traverse its neighbor node that would be node number five and remove this edge okay now we can see that to complete course number five i i need to complete course number four first and that would take seven 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 is the result for node number four like to complete course number four i require seven months so seven plus five that is 12 months so it require me 12 months to complete course number four and course number five okay because to complete course number four i need to complete course number three and to complete course number five i need to complete course number four that means i require these three courses like i'm including these three courses here and it is taking me 12 months and 12 is greater than 8 so i'll update this result with 12. so what it is saying that it requires me 12 months to complete all of these courses and this is nothing but the maximum integer in this distance array okay and that's my answer fine so this is nothing but the topological sorting with a little bit of modification let's jump to the code implementation part so this is my minimum time function so let's create a adjacency list of n nodes iterate over the relations array and create this adjacency list next that would be it1 minus one so there is an edge from this previous two next okay also create a n also create a n degree array of size n initialize it with zero and for this next node towards which the ad is edge is directed just increment the number of incoming edges okay count the n degree for each node now 
declare a queue which will be used to store the nodes with n degree 0 iterate over the nodes and for all the nodes which has n degree as 0 push those nodes into the priority queue and also we require a distance array where I will be updating the time which which each node requires or which each course requires okay and for those nodes with in degree 0 the time required is same as it is given in this times array so time i now run this while loop till this queue is not empty pop the top node from the queue the front node from the queue iterate over the neighbor nodes okay and for those neighbor nodes check if the n degree so here you got to check if the n degree becomes 0 n degree for neighbor and if it becomes 0 then push this node into the queue into the queue and also you got to update the distance for this neighbor so for this neighbor update the distance so distance for the neighbor would be max of the distance that we already have for this neighbor in this distance array with the distance for node plus the time for time to time taken to complete the the course represented by this neighbor okay so in this fashion i would be updating my distance array and at the end of this function just return the max element return the max element from this distance array so dist dot begin and fine so in this fashion we'll have here let's see if it okay it got accepted let's submit it okay so that worked so that let's just discuss the time and space complexity the time complexity is same as it is for the topological sorting that is so since I'm implementing since I'm solving this problem using like Khan's algorithm or BFS implementation for topological sorting the time complexity would be nothing but big of n plus e that is where n represents the number of nodes e represents the number of edges okay while the space complexity is also big of n because I'm using a queue and a distance array okay so that's all for this video if you like the video then hit the like button and make sure to subscribe to the channel and stay tuned with me to get the regular updates and I hope to see you all in my next video.